Aloha, Lisi here from Journey to Fitness, your posture and pain coach. Today, we're gonna talk about shoulders. Your shoulder is the most mobile joint in the body. Why? Because it has a very shallow socket. Compared to your hip, the shoulders are um, able to move way more because of the, the socket of the shoulder. It's very shallow. Compared to the hip, the hip is more like a bowl. The shoulder is more like a little plate. So because it's the most mobile joint, it's also the most vulnerable joint for injuries. So here are four signs that your shoulder issue that feels like it's minor could lead to bursitis, frozen shoulder, or a rotator cuff tear. Number four, range of motion. We should be able to extend our arms over our head with the hand, uh, arms touching our ears. If your shoulder uh, restricted and you raise your arm like this or like this, that's a sign that you could be leading to issues. Second range of motion would be bringing the hands back and touching your fingers together. You should be able to do it on both sides. Most people who have shoulder issues, especially rotator cuff tears, their hands are here or here. They're unable to bring it up high. So this is very common. You want to make sure you have good range of motion. Number three, cracking, popping sounds whenever you move your arms. Number two, self-massage. It's so important that you do myofascial release with tennis balls and foam roller and soft balls to roll out the shoulders, the scapula, the lats, the chest, the sh arms. If you, if you roll out those area and there's a huge pain of sensitivity to the to the rolling you want to make sure you keep rolling until you don't feel the pain anymore because that rolling that pain that you're experiencing is a tissue really really dry and they're very sensitive healthy tissue don't hurt when you roll on it it feels good it you know something is not right when you roll on it and it feels really sensitive especially on the size that's restricted when you do the range of motion test if the side that's more restricted and you roll on it and it's much more painful than the side that's not that's a really good indicator that you need to keep rolling until the tissue are hydrated again and healthy again last one number one is pain people are just ignoring pain and hopefully hoping that it goes away, but pain is a huge indicator that your body's screaming at you saying, hey, listen to me, something is not right. Please address, address it, fix me. So those are the four signs. I hope you really take the time to listen to your body and make changes and adjustment and, and address this issue if you have any four of those issues. And if you need help, please feel free to message me or make an appointment on my website for a consultation. I hope this helped. Till next time, aloha.